uh, rounding the feet. And um, it looks like mom maybe helped us trim a little bit, which happens a lot in our salons. Um, you know, they like to do a little pre-grooming for you. So we'll just work around it. But I'm just going to start by lifting up her little foot. And you want to be careful. You noticed when I lift up her back leg, um, I always put a hand under the, the pelvis to support. Um, she's an older dog. And a lot of times with the small breeds, they have bad knees. So you don't want to just yank a leg up. So I always like to touch the dog to support it and take some of the weight into my hand before I lift up this leg. And it's just a habit that you develop. But um, it can really be a lot nicer for your dogs if you're not just yanking legs up. And I always want to lift it within the comfortable range of motion. I'm not going to pull it way out to the side or pull it way back. I just want to make it so it's comfortable for her right here. I'm going to comb all this hair down over her foot now. And I'm just going to trim around the pad flush with the, the foot. So just go all the way around. And I try to trim around the outside of the foot instead of going over the foot. It's really easy if she decides to kick. Your blade can very easily catch her toe. And it can just be a mess. Um, and it can happen in the blink of an eye. So when I'm trimming dogs, I like to make sure I'm trimming just kind of around the outside of the foot. Actually, you know, I've had, you know, an incident where I was doing an older dog. And I was just picking up the foot and the dog kicked. And I accidentally cut the dog pretty bad. And, um, you know, it's horrifying, but it happens to everybody. But, you know, the next time, I was very, very cautious. So you just want to make sure that you're always aware of where your scissors are when you're cutting around a dog, especially around the feet.